Hey, so I want to take a minute to talk about a really cool new collaborative feature that's uh, appearing in Office 365 products uh, across a variety of different apps. Um, the app I'm going to use today to show this feature is Word Online, because it's probably the most um, easy one to think about a practical application for right off the bat. Um, but this feature kind of exists everywhere in so much as whenever you're annotating or commenting, it's something you can apply. So I'm going to go real quick. Um, and go to, let's say, just this Word Online document. Um, and what we would do is we're going to assume that I've shared this with someone. So just a quick review on sharing. We can click the Share button in Word Online. You can click the Share button in almost any Office 365 product. You can then go change your sharing permissions. So right now, if someone in the Snohomish School District clicks on this or gets it shared with them, they can view it, but they can't edit it. So if I want to allow people to edit it, i got to click Allow Editing. And then if I click anyone with link, that would be anyone in the world with the link could do it, but I can't allow them to edit it. So only people in our district can also edit things. And this would be an example if you're working on maybe a collaborative project of some sort in one of the Office 365 apps. You might select Snohomish School District and Allow Editing. And then I'm going to hit Apply. And then I can either type those people's names in specifically in an auto-generated list will pop up and they'll get an email in their Office 365 inbox that will um, let them know they've had a document shared with them or you can copy the link and when you copy the link it'll create a shareable link and you copy it and then you can send it to people however you want and when they click on it they get into the document too. Now here's the thing that's cool if I'm going through and annotating or I have a part of this document that I want somebody else to notice. The other person I'm working with, I want, for whatever reason, I want them to notice it. Maybe they need to fix something, change something, you want to point something out, whatever it is. What I would do is select that portion of the document, go over here to review, and then hit new comment. If you have the simplified ribbon turned off, um, you're going to look a little bit like this. It's going to be a larger ribbon up here. So I'll select the portion of the document either way, and then I'm going to hit New Comment. And when I hit New Comment, it says at mention or start a conversation. This is what's kind of cool. So I could go at, and then I'm going to bring up, yeah, maybe that's my wife. So I brought up my wife, and then I'm going to type, can you take a look at this and change the punctuation? Maybe that's something I want to have them see. And then I'll hit post, and when I post it, that person will get a notification, probably through their email, that they have been tagged in a document. And it also is a way to single that person out and to kind of assign a task to them or a direct a comment towards them, and that you'd specifically like that person to engage with this particular bit of content uh, within whatever it is that you're working on. So the feature here is that you can add and tag people. And this works across a variety of diff different applications um, that are within Office 365. I'm only using Word as an example. But a lot of times, you can hit the app sign and then start typing someone's name. And you can tag them into whatever uh, form or whatever uh, media you're filling out within an Office 365 app. So the possibilities of that are pretty endless, and the concept is it's a more direct way to collaborate with different people across different applications. All right, hope you enjoy.